Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Alejandro and Nicole from Flow Into Nature. Today, we're going to be doing a quick and simple about 20-minute flow so that you can feel really good, really stretching out the whole body. We're going to get standard, started in a, in a standing position. Bring your big toes to touch. Slight space between the heels. Really press into the ground. Engage into the legs. Find a slight tuck of the tailbone and feel as your spine lengthens up towards the sky. Open the palms so that the thumbs go outward and feel a slight gentle lift from the chest, slight tuck of the chin, allow yourself to just find a moment to relax. Allow yourself to find a moment of time, of calmness and relaxation in this pose. Maybe you admire what's around you. Maybe it's the view. Maybe it's the sounds in your home. Maybe you also have a view. And just a lot to soak everything in. Press a little deeper into the feet. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Really lengthen up through the spine. Open the mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Two more breaths. Inhale, fill up into the belly, into the chest. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. One more time, take a breath in, fill up. Find a slight pause at the top. And exhale, let it all go. Trying to find a slight pause at the bottom as well. Beautiful, we'll start to move. Blink open the eyes if they're closed. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Gaze up, try to lengthen up as much as you can. As you exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips, hands will come through heart center as you lower down to the ground. Find a slight bend in the knees. If it feels better to widen your feet, go ahead and do so. You can grab onto opposite elbows and gently start to sway a little bit side to side. Beautiful, letting go of any tension in the upper body, in the neck, in the jaw, really allowing that head to just guide, be guided towards the ground, letting anything go, any tension in the upper body and shoulders. Take one more breath in and a breath out. Release the hands to the ground. Option to bring your big toes to touch if that feels good. Inhale, mountain pose. Engage into the legs, the glutes, the core as you rise all the way up. As you exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale, mountain pose. Press into the ground. Reach all the way back up. As you exhale, open twist to the right. Right arm goes back. Left arm goes forward. Make sure your hips stay nice and square. Pressing your right hip forward. If you can, either look towards your right side wall, maybe towards your back hand. Take one more breath in. Can you twist a little bit deeper just from the upper back? Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up towards the sky. Engage the core. As you exhale, open twist to the left again. Just the upper body moves. Really engaging into the legs, squeezing the inner thighs. Feel as you press your left hip forward, opening up your heart towards the left side wall. Breath in. And you twist a little deeper breath out. Inhale, mountain pose, reaching all the way back up towards the sky. As you exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips, hands go all the way back down. Relax the head and neck heavy at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, hands can stay on the ground. They can come to your shins or to your thighs. Really trying to flatten out the spine. Lift the shoulders a little bit higher, pinching the shoulder blades behind you. Shift forward onto your tippy toes. It's okay if your knees are still bent. One more breath in. As you exhale, deeper forward fold. Option to grab behind your heels to pull yourself down a little bit more. Inhale, mountain pose. Once again, engage into the legs, the glutes, the core to rise you all the way up. As you exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Press into the ground, reach high. As you exhale, open twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high, moving to the breath. As you exhale, open twist left, keeping the hips nice and square. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. As you exhale, forward fold to the mat. 
Inhale, halfway lift, engaging the shoulder blades as you exhale deeper forward. Full. One more time. Inhale, mountain pose, press into the ground, rise. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Moving to your own breath. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, open, twist to the right, just the upper body. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open, twist left. Inhale, mountain pose. As you exhale, forward fold to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, plant your hands, walk your hands all the way forward. Find yourself right away, downward facing dog, keeping the hips lifted up and back. Really pressing into the hands. Feel as your triceps roll down and back. Pressing your heart towards your thighs. And really lengthening your heels towards the ground. Really feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. If this is too much on your legs and too much on the shoulders, you can always bend into the knees. Taking it nice and easy. You got it. This is your practice. Inhale. And you press a little bit further back. Exhale. Nice. One more breath in. One more breath out. On your next inhale, look forward. As you exhale, you can step or hop to the top of the mat. Once again, finding a forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. We're going to bend the knees. Sit back, sit down into your heels and reach the arms up nice and high. Beautiful. Try to shift the weight all the way back into the heels. You'll notice Nicole's hips, they're tilting downward to really find engagement through the lower core. Squeezing the legs together. If your feet are together, squeeze the knees together. If your feet are apart, just feel as your inner thighs are attracted to each other. That way we ignite the inner thighs, our adductor muscles helping us stay nice and strong. Take another inhale. Can you reach the arms a little bit higher? As you exhale, can you sit just a little bit lower? Strengthening every joint in the body. Inhale. As you exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips, we lower all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Once again, engage the core muscles to lift you up. As you exhale, high plank, plant your hands. We're gonna step our feet back. We're gonna do our first vinyasa. You can do this on your knees or you can do this on your tippy toes. Shift all the way forward. Lower yourself halfway down. Keep the elbows into the side body. Drop your feet to the mat if your knees are lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog opening up through the heart really reach the crown of the head up towards the sky engage the legs by pressing into the feet as you exhale downward facing dog hips go up and back take a deep breath in through the nose exhale through the nose find that strong confident breath inhale and exhale one more time breath in Nice and slow breath out. Moving on with our Sanji. Inhale, the right leg goes to the sky. Three-legged dog. Breathe. We really want to make sure the right toes are going to point towards the right side wall. So we're going to lift up through that right hip. Make sure that right shoulder is still pressing down so you feel a nice stretch through the side body. Take another inhale. As you exhale, low lunge. Bring that right foot all the way between the hands. Drop your back heel. Back heel, back heel, warrior two. Drop your back heel. Beautiful, warrior two. The left arm is going to reach you all the way up and around, settling you into your pose. So as you notice, Nicole's back leg is nice and long, really pressing into the knife edge of her back foot. And we're really trying to open the hip so the left hip will pull back, that right hip will pull forward, using your right knee to open yourself up. Squeeze into both glutes. Try to sit your hips down a little lower. Really feel the length through the sides of the body. Take another breath in. As you exhale, side angle. Reach all the way forward. Right arm comes down. It can either rest on your right thigh or it can go on the inside of your right leg. Reach that left arm all the way up to the sky. Noticing a nice long line from the back heel all the way up to the shoulder. And then the shoulder is helping you lift you up to engage into your core. Beautiful. Take another breath in. Can you twist a little deeper through the hips and through the heart? Breath out. Really pressing into the legs. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keeping the legs as they are. Just the upper body moves as that right arm reaches all the way up and back. Still sinking into your front lunge. Feeling the stretch all across the right side of your body. Take another inhale. 
As you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. We're going to go through our vinyasa. The right leg steps back. Shift forward, option to drop the knees or not. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog and pressing into the tops of the feet, opening the heart. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, the left leg will go up to the sky. Once again, point your left toes towards the left. Notice that left heat, hip rise up and that right shoulder stays down. Take another breath in. As you exhale, low lunge, left foot will step right to the middle of the mat. Drop your back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Again, that right arm will reach all the way as a semicircle to lift you up. Press into the knife edge of your back foot, really strengthening into your right quad. Notice the left knee open up. You should be able to see your left big toe. Lengthening through the side bodies, the core always stays nice and engaged. Take a breath in. Can you drop the hips just a little bit lower? Breath out. One more inhale. As you exhale, side angle. The left arm goes down. Option to rest on the thigh. Maybe it's on the inside of the left thigh and that right arm goes up to the sky. The legs still super engaged, still opening up through the hips. Allow yourself to breathe. Inhale. As you exhale, can you open the hips and the heart a little bit deeper? Beautiful. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the legs as they are. That left arm reaches all the way up and back. Nice big side body stretch. As you're reaching towards the top back corner of your room or right behind you, whatever may be there, take one more breath in. As you exhale, cartwheel your arms down. We'll go through our third vinyasa. The left foot steps back. Option to drop the knees or not. Shift forward, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the feet into the ground. Engage the glutes, open the heart. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in through the nose. And out through your nose. Again, try to find that nice, calm, easy breath. Maybe you find just a little pause at the top. And a little pause at the bottom. Last breath on your own. Beautiful. Let's move that nice and easy. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, forward fold. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Landing softly. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees. Sit back, sit down. Arms go high. Weight is in the heels. And right away, exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips. We lower down to the ground. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Halfway lift. As you exhale, vinyasa. Plant your hands. Step your feet back. Again, drop the knees or not. Shift forward, lower down halfway. Know that you can always skip these. Go straight into a down dog. Inhale, up dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right heel to the sky. Open the hip up to the sky as well. As you exhale, low lunge, left foot steps to the top. Drop the back heel. Inhale, warrior two as we open up towards the left side body. As we exhale, side angle, left arm down, right arm high again, opening up through the hips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach it up, reach it back. Nice big side stretch. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Right leg steps back. Shift forward, we lower down halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra, opening through the heart. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Open that left hip up as well. As you exhale, low lunge, left foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior two, drop the back heel, opening up to the right. Exhale, side angle, moving to your breath. You can go a little slower, a little faster. Inhale, reverse warrior as you reach it up and back. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Left leg steps back. Shift forward, lowering down halfway. Arms are getting strong. Inhale, up dog or cobra. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Slow it back down. Breath in. Press your heart towards your toes. Breath out. Again, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale. And exhale. Last time through. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, forward fold, step or hop to the top. Inhale, chair pose, bending the knees, sitting nice and low to the mat. As you exhale, forward fold to the ground. Inhale, 
halfway lift, lengthening the spine. As you exhale, plant your hands, feet go back. Shift forward, we lower down halfway. Inhale, up dog, opening your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right heel to the sky, right hip lifts as well. As you exhale, low lunge, right foot comes down. Inhale, warrior two, and open up towards the left side. As you exhale, side angle, left arm down, right arm down, left arm high. Inhale, reverse warrior as you reach it up and back. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Vinyasa, option to skip it if you need to. Shift forward, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Meet us back, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, left heel to the sky. Open that left hip. As you exhale, low lunge, left foot to the top of the mat. Drop the back heel. Inhale, warrior two, and open up. As you exhale, side angle, left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up, reach back. Beautiful breath, Nicole. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Left leg goes back. Shift forward, lower down, halfway. Again, you can skip them. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths. Slow back down. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. A little bit slower. Breath in. Can you press a little further back? Breath out. Nice and gently. Inhale. Nice and gently. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, step to the top of the mat. Take a seat. Beautiful. We're going to extend the legs out long in front of us. Finding ourselves about five minutes to cool ourselves down. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, forward fold. Option to bend into the knees if you need to. You can always grab your ankles or your shins, wherever you are in your flexibility journey. As you can see, Nicole here has her knees a little bent. She's going to hold on to her feet, pull her heart forward. And then once you can't pull anymore, you're going to let the chin come into the chest. If you want to, if you have the flexibility, you can inch your heels a little bit further forward, finding a nice long stretch through the back of the legs, engaging and lengthening the glutes, especially through the low back. Take a couple breaths here as you inhale. Try to lengthen your spine. Breathe into your upper chest. As you exhale, try to fold just a little bit deeper. Breath in. Breath out. Again, try to find that pause at the top and at the bottom. Try to breathe a little slower through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Last breath. Inhale into the chest. Fold as deeply as you can. Breath out. Going to release your feet or your shins or your thighs. Slowly walk yourself back up. Bend into your knees. Try to slide your hips further forward onto your mat. And we're going to gently lower ourselves down to the ground for four, three. Start to look up. Last two. Nice and slowly and controlled all the way to the ground. Bring your heels close to your glutes, moving into a bridge pose. You should be able to tickle your heels with your hands. If you have a block, maybe you grab a block, squeeze it in between your inner thighs. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift the hips up nice and high. You can stay right here and breathe. If you don't have a block, imagine you have a block between your inner thighs and squeeze. And we're finding a nice long stretch right in front of the hip bones, all across the front of the core. Pulling your chest towards your chin. It's okay if they don't touch. If you want a little bit more, you can interlace your hands behind the back. Press the hands down to bring the shoulders a little closer together. Really press into your heels. Can you lift up a little bit higher? Hold it there for three. For two. And one, slowly releasing the hands, one vertebrae nice and slowly to the ground, and then remove the block if you have it. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a quick hug, a quick squeeze, maybe rock a little side to side. Going to move into my favorite posture, reverse tabletop the legs, open your arms out like a T, and just let your knees gently drop over towards the left side, quick, easy, gentle twist. It's okay if your knees don't touch, Really just trying to press your right shoulder down into the ground. 
as you do this, we're stabilizing the upper body and we're letting the twist come from the hips. As you continue to breathe, maybe you try to twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale. And twist on the exhale. Two more breaths. Again, try to lengthen those inhales and exhales. Breath in. Twist as deeply as it feels good into your body. Slowly bring both knees back into your chest just to give yourself a quick hug, realigning the spine. And then reverse tabletop the legs once again. Knees come over the hips. Open the arms. Gently let the knees drop over toward your right thigh. Stacking the hips over each other. Again, really try to press that left shoulder down. Take a deep breath in. And can you twist a little deeper as you exhale? Really breathing into this posture. Breathing into any relaxation. Any tension you may be holding on to. So we can let it go. Two more breaths. Big inhale into the belly. Twist as you exhale. Last breath in. Twist, breath out. We'll slowly bring our knees back in towards our chest. Give yourselves a nice big hug and a squeeze. Wrap your arms around the shins, forehead comes all the way into the knees. Squeeze yourself into the smallest little ball. How much energy do you still have left? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breath in. As you exhale, shove asana. Lengthen out through the legs. Arms come long by the body. If it's a little cold where you are, maybe you have a little blanket. If you have any props, you can place them underneath the knees, maybe on behind your upper back. Whatever's going to feel the best to you. Allowing yourself to find full relaxation, letting go of any tension, any engagement of the muscles, starting from the crown of the head, the face, the shoulders, letting go of the arm, all the way down through the fingers, chest, belly and core, hips, thighs, Knees, shins, calves, ankles, all the way down through the toe. Finding that full relaxation. Last breath in. And open the mouth. Let it all go. And just breathe. 